Hi guys, this is a video for the benefit of the people in my chat room. I basically said in the chat that I'd started running Synergy on my computer and they want to know what it was. So I told them what it was and they thought it was really cool and they want to know how to set it up on their own computers. So I thought I'd, um, for the benefit of them and for you, tell you what it is and how to set it up. Okay, so we have my Acer Aspire 1, which you've seen me um, using, and I have my desktop screen. Now I apologise for my webcam again. Now if I just show you, if I go back a bit, if you can see on the monitor right now the mouse is moving. La 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 la. And if I brush it to the side of the monitor, it actually switches to the laptop. Now if I switch it back, it goes to the middle of the um, monitor, the big monitor, so you can't see that, but I can just drag it down. So you can see, as I move, it uses the laptop. Now you can see that I'm not actually using a mouse or anything with the laptop, that's the power cable, there's nothing that side, and I'm not touching the trackpad, and I'm actually using the mouse on it. Now this is all done with the desktop keyboard and mouse. Now that's brilliant because then you don't have to use two computers at once and have two keyboards on your desk or anything like that but you can just have Synergy running and just use the desktop to control a laptop or another desktop or anything like that. Now how is this run? It's run over a network so you need to have for example a wireless router and be able to connect to your other computers to be able to do this and it's different to VNC because VNC uses a screenshot but this just directly accesses the computer and then just switches the um, keyboard and mouse across. I think it's really good because then you can use your second computer or, or your laptop, sorry for the shakiness, as a second monitor as well. So I'm actually using this for a full screen chat which I can just glance across and go into um, from my desktop and it just uses a second monitor without having to use the second keyboard and the second mouse. So after that, me blabbering about what it is, I'm basically going to show you how to set it up. Now I'm only going to show you the desktop side. Now the desktop is running the server um, part of it. Now you can do both server and client on the same application, I'll be showing you that anyway. But I'm only going to be showing you it on the desktop, but I will show you how to set it up on the client as well as the settings are already there. So I'm now going to switch over to the desktop. Okay guys, here is the application. Now one thing to note is that I'm connecting a Windows PC to a Windows PC. Now you can download this application on Mac and Linux and it's also possible to use it cross platform so you can have a Windows host and a Mac um, client connected to it and it's uh, fairly easy to set up as well so let's open up the application. You can see we have quite a small box here and there's two radio buttons. One says use another keyboard, sorry, use another computer's shared keyboard and mouse client or share this computer's keyboard and mouse server. So, as you know, I'm filming this on my desktop. My laptop's connected, so I was using my desktop keyboard, so therefore that's gonna be the server, and as the laptop's connecting to it, it's the client. So, on the laptop, which was the client, um, all I needed to do is click this, use another computer share keyboard and mouse, and give the host name. Now, I believe you can also type the IP address, because you'll need this if you're doing it with a, a wireless router or over a network you'll need that and you've got to make sure you're able to connect to that as well now um, that was all I needed to do there no other configuration needed um, to the actual Synergy box you just simply press start or test and that will get going now on the server as well the magic happens if you go to the configure button after clicking share this keyboard and mouse go to the configure button you can see you have screens on the top um, top left See, there's Aspire and HP. So this is my desktop and my laptop names. That's all I did. You just type in the names of the computers that are connected to each other and um, the screens that you're sharing, basically. Now, under that, you can see links. And here you can see HP is right of Aspire and Aspire is left of HP. So, as you can see, if um, when I moved the mouse to the left of my screen on my desktop, it went to the laptop. And that's simply what is configured and um, it's likewise as well so if I go to the right hand side of my Aspire it will switch to the left of the desktop if that makes sense all you simply have to do is say new link and then you say 0-200% of the left, right, top or bottom of the specific computer um, so for example if my laptop was underneath um, my desktop I say 0-100% um, to, to the bottom of HP would go to 0% of 
Aspire. So if I hit the bottom of that HP desktop, it will go onto my laptop, basically. Simple as that. Okay, so that's the screens and the links. So after that, it's pretty much done. I haven't changed any options. It's possible to have a delay when you hit the edge of the screen. You can synchronize your screensaver if you wish to. Um, some hotkeys, I haven't gone into the advanced. Auto start, I've also got I installed when I log in. So you can have it auto start, so you can start using both computers straight away when you log in. And that's about it, really. Now, I'm just going to show you the test. I'm not going to start it. Um, so you can see that it says running Synergy, press stop to end the test. It opens up a little box and it says that it started the server. Now, you won't be able to see this, but I'm simply pressing test. Um, so on my um, desktop, I've got exactly the same view here. It just has it and it says using other keyboards. Uh, computers, shared keyboard and mouse. And it says HP. I'm just going to click test on the client. So I'm now clicking test and it says connected to server on the client and then it says here client aspire is connected and that is pretty much to show you that it's successful now if i was to um I'm, i might actually mouse over because it may ruin the um screen recorder but if it does it will say leaving hp or leaving aspire um on the actual this this server window so it's as simple as that really and once you've done and you've got it tested you just simply press start and then you're well away so that's about it really, thanks for watching my video, this is how to um, use one keyboard and uh, one mouse on um, multiple computers, it's not just two, you can do more than two, and um, it needs to be done over a network, so you've got to make sure you can connect those two computers together. So thanks for watching my video, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.